Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Plot no evil against your neighbor. Everlasting God to deliver to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of True Leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, First John chapter four verse twenty one. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Second lesson, Jesus answered and said, on, Second lesson, John chapter 14, verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my works, my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Golden text, Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Quote, Considering our text, you can safely conclude that this is neither the time to tell lies against God nor a fellow human being. Whosoever loves God must love all human beings. Whosoever loves Christ will practice his teachings and injunctions. In the entire world, who can deceive himself that he loves our Lord Jesus Christ? From now, if any person shouts, Jesus, Jesus, ask such a person whether he has practiced the injunctions of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you had loved our Lord Jesus Christ, you would have practiced his word. The whole Christendom shouts, Jesus, 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 yet they do not practice a jot out of his teachings. They therefore do not love him. For he had said that anyone who loves him will keep his commandment. Love requires and commands obedience. Whosoever loves our Lord Jesus Christ must also have a universal love for all brethren. It has been clearly revealed now to you that love does not love that love does no wrong to his neighbor. You claim to have love. Why then do you get annoyed with someone else? Why do you think evil against your brother? Why do you hate and curse others? Do you not know that love does not hurt its neighbor? The more you continue to confess that you have been annoyed with your parents, brethren, and friends, the more it means that you do not possess love. You confess that you sin every minute, which is an indication of lack of love, because love does not commit sin. Whosoever possesses love in its true definition does not does not plan evil against another man. Any person who has love cannot steal, cannot kill, curse, commit adultery, fornicate, prostitute, hate, be idle, backbite, and indulge in other deliberate sins. Now examine yourself whether you have true love. The three texts which constitute our gospel carry separate messages. These messages bear witness of each other to establish a firm conclusion. It is said that the testimonies of two or three witnesses can establish a fact. The first lesson states that whosoever loves God must also love his brethren. The second lesson states that whosoever loves our Lord Jesus Christ will keep his commandment. The golden text also states that love does that love does no evil to his neighbor for it is fulfilling of the law you can see that if you do not love your brethren you have no love for god also if you do not obey and practice the commandment of our lord jesus christ you do not have love you do not love him one of the signs of, to identify those who 
do not possess love is that they do not knock their heads. They do not knock their foreheads on the ground to show respect to God. The knocking of the forehead is just like one confirming Amen. If you do not knock your forehead during prayers, it stands to reason that you do not believe in God. Beloved brethren, if you claim to be a church goer or member of any place of worship, but do not express true love as directed by our Lord Jesus Christ that is practicing his injunction, you have failed. Some of you deceive yourself by professing that you love your husband so much. It is a blatant lie because if you had loved him so dearly, you would not have committed adultery with another man. If you love your husband truly, you cannot call him names when you quarrel or disobey him. Love is not that simple to achieve. Another person may profess that he loves himself so much. This is also false because if you love yourself, you would not indulge in fornication adultery or prostitution. You would not steal or indulge in any form of evil. Our first and greatest problem is not lack of material things but lack of true love. If you fail to inherit this kingdom it should be traced to lack of love. Your designations such as bishop, pastor, senior elder, Christ student, Christ servant are immaterial, irrelevant and to no effect whatsoever. In this kingdom, love is supreme. You may boast about your church, skyscraper and wealth generally, but have you in the same magnitude talk about the extent of love you possess? Take note that without love all these are not profitable. If you boast about having power and children yet you have no love, it profits you nothing. Whatever mental, physical or spiritual capabilities you have, if you do not possess love, it amounts to nothingness. Some people complain that they have left their parents, wives, children, husband, jobs and all things to follow the Father, yet they have problems here and there. The reason is simple and sure, you have no love. It is said that charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 if you say you have served God for 20 years in brotherhood, have you got love? Some people are urging the Father to give them certificates as graduates from Christ Universal, from Christ Universal Spiritual School of Practical Christianity. Let it be known to you that love is your certificate. No more, no less. Those of you who say you are generous and give alms to the poor, are you sure you possess true love? Our Lord Jesus Christ through Paul says, And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt and have not charity, it profit me nothing. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 3. You may have faith to command one city to move from one place to another or to heal the sick. Yet, if you have no love, it is of no use to you. Whether you have the ability to extract charms and diabolical substances from people, yet if you do not have love, you are an empty vessel. You may possess the gift of vision to the extent of revealing the true nature of God. If you do not possess love, you stand to gain nothing. You may convert the unbaptized 500 people into brotherhood. It avails you nothing without love. Love is the principal property in life. Love is that mustard seed 
which is smaller than any other grain, but grows to become a giant of trees. Another parable put, put e forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened to a mustard, to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air came and lodged in the branches thereof. St. Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 to 32. We are told that there are three things, love, faith, and hope. But the greatest of these is love. Some people have faith, some hope. Others have faith and hope. Some have faith, but no hope. All these are nothing without love. Who has ever desired God to endow him with these virtues? Your desire is fame, power, life and wealth. You only brag about wealth and wisdom. Know that love is neither arrogant nor boastful. Love is the sine qua non of humility and meekness. Love does not rejoice in evil performances. Love endures all things and it is patient. It is said that love believes all things, hopes on all things, and has an unshakable faith. God has only one commandment, which is love. He is love and does not change. Whenever you have love, you have God the Father, you have God the Son, and the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. In time past, people used to talk of Ten Commandments. The so-called Ten Commandments signify the Ten Kings who had defiled the world created by God. When Moses had the Ten Commandments, he did not know their significance. Among the Ten Commandments, among the Ten Kings, Nebuchadnezzar was one, but it was written that one kingdom would manifest which will subdue and swallow up all the other kingdoms. This kingdom which is overwhelming power, this kingdom with its overwhelming power and light will last forever. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Daniel chapter 2 verse 44 The manifestation of this prophecy is another way of proving that the wisdom of God is beyond human comprehension. Consequently, the kingdom of love has swallowed the ten, the ten kingdoms. A liar, a thief represent two kings. However, in the case of our Lord Jesus Christ, as it is exemplified in Brother Out of the Cross and Star, there is only one commandment. It is written in the scriptures that the law of God is not burdensome to man. Now you see that once you have love, you are free. Nothing as appreciative, nothing is as appreciative and as adoring as love, yet mankind has refused to imbibe love and practice it. Man always prefers evil to goodness. Refer once again to our first lesson. First lesson. 1 John chapter 4 verse 21 And this commandment have we from him, that he, he who loveth God, love his brother also. The above statement is not a vision, neither is it a prayer or, nor a prophecy, but the word of God. No person can report to the Almighty God, neither can any, neither can you report others. Whoever loves his brethren love God, 
and whoever loves God must love his brethren. We have only one teacher who teaches love alone. Stop seeking after power, wisdom, wealth, and other mundane things, but strive to possess and express a universal love. If you love your neighbor, it means you love Christ. If you love your brethren, it means you have kept the instructions of God and have practiced the injunctions of Christ. That is why it is concluded in the golden text that love worketh no evil unto its neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. You who contemplate on what to do in order to please the Lord, know that love is one love of one another is the answer. Do not bother about how to serve God, but love one another. All other commandments are of the flesh and cannot take you anywhere spiritually. Only love can give you eternal life in God's kingdom. You have also heard that whosoever has love dwells in the light and there is no cause of stumbling for him. Whosoever is his brother abides in death. Love does not require wisdom in order to thrive. This is because once you love someone, you cannot lie to him. You cannot steal his things or do anything that will hurt him. The major problem of the world is how to identify God as a being that everybody has agreed that no one has ever seen. Now, if no person has ever seen him, when he arrives, how will one identify him when the being would say, Look, I am the God you have been seeking. You will not believe because you have never seen him. In the same token, love is what no human being has ever possessed. That explains why fake love abounds and why man has accepted this fake love as being genuine. People regard man, tree and other creatures as God. This is false. Man equally equally regards money, houses, clothes and other mundane things as love. He has erred. Love does not seek after any mundane wealth and does not harm any person. If any person says he or she loves you but abuses you, he is a liar. He has no love for you. If any person professes to love you and disgraces you always and does not allow you to air your views, such a person does not possess love. If we had loved our Lord Jesus Christ, we would have loved our brethren, for this was a supreme instruction from the Father that whosoever loves God must love his brethren also. If you see any person who loves everybody and does not get annoyed, neither does he impute sin on others, rather rejoice with everyone, such a person loves God so much. Anger, lamentation, flogging, sighing, and murmuring are all acts of sin. So, any person found indulging in these vices does not possess love. If you go to somebody's house and found him frowning and sighing, you will conclude that something is wrong. It is said that blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. St. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. If then you start lamenting that you are poor, does it mean you love Christ? He said, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. Yes, Matthew chapter 5 verses 11 to 12. This is his true instruction and injunction. Any person therefore who is not perfect 
does not believe in him and does not love him if you do not obey the instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ. How can you know or obey God the Father? You cannot even believe or love the Father. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. St. John 14 verse 6. Whosoever loves the Son will equally love the Father, and the Father will also love him. Automatically, anyone who loves the Father will love all his brethren. Anyone who claims to love the Father but hates his brethren is a liar. The commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ is very simple, and it gives you joy if you practice it. Beloved brethren, the works of God and that of the flesh are incompatible. You will discover that all along you have been carrying the heavier burden, whereas God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, had taken away your burden. The work of the flesh is very difficult, whereas that of God is very simple and light. Immediately you obey his word by loving one another, you are saved. This is comparable to lottery, where you throw in a few kobo and win thousands of naira. If you put in ten kobo to gain about one thousand naira, what have you lost? Similarly, if you love Christ our Lord, you will keep his words and the Father will love you. The Holy Spirit and the Father will dwell in you. Can you now see what you will gain with your little love? If you are falsely accused because of him and you are not happy, it means you neither love him nor believe in him. Read the second lesson. Second lesson, John chapter 14 verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Our Lord Jesus Christ directed that whoever has two coats should give one to him who has not have. He that had meat, let him do likewise. Have you done that? Luke 3 verse 11. Whatever you have which is double, you have to give one out to him who has none. If you do this, it means that you, uh, that you love him. Otherwise, the reverse is the case. It is said that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, Turn to him the other cheek also. Matthew 5 verse 39. If you act negatively to this injunction, it means you neither believe nor love our Lord Jesus Christ. Furthermore, it is said, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. St. Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. Your failure to comply positively with the above injunction declares you a rebel. It is written, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. St. Matthew chapter 5 verse 48. How can you be perfect even as he is? Exercise absolute and ultimate love for all and sundry and you will qualify for, per for perfection. It is clear that in the entire world God dwells only in brotherhood of the cross and star. This is as, as a, this is as a result of love which is found therein. If the Father, Son and Holy Spirit live in you, then you will not lack houses, money, clothes, bread, Breadwin, wealth, and power. What do you think will ever harm or threaten such a person whom God dwells in? The dwelling place of God Almighty is holy, and no evil, temptation, darkness, confusion, segregation, lamentation, etc. 
can ever be found in such a place. You can see that the presence of God in any place and in, a, and in anything sanctifies and strengthens such a place or thing. I do not need anything, either materially or spiritually from the world. I came that you may be transformed from imperfect and sinfulness to perfect and sinless nature so that where I am you also may be there. Love is reciprocal in nature. If you love someone and that person does not love you, it means that the love will die hard and sooner. See authority below. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. John 15 verse 9. Christ loved the Father, and the Father loved him, because he abided by the Father's commandment. For that reason, he and the Father are one in the visible entity. In one of the powerful statements of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is recorded that, I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bear with witness of me. John 8 verse 18. From the time of Adam to the era of our Lord Jesus Christ, only our Lord Jesus Christ loved God. That was why the Father said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. The building of cathedrals, electrifying and equipping it with modern amenities does not qualify one as a child of God. The situation does not rest on shouting the name of Olumba Olumba Obu. Love does not constitute healing the sick, raising the dead, and making the lame to walk. It is neither giving a lot of money to people or, or training people in the university. He that kills the commandments and instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ loves him and therefore love the Father. Such a person must also love the entire world. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Romans chapter 13 verse 10. Love worketh no evil to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. To further explain this text, our Lord Jesus Christ said, that he who loves him will abide by his word and his father will love the person and he also will love such a person he and his father will make their abode in such a person you can see that love does no evil against his neighbor if you see any person who loves all people do not ask any question for such a person is god personified any place where there is no lying, sighing, lamentation, fear, quarrel, backbiting, hatred, craftiness, stealing, anger, cheating, and immorality. Know that such a place is the kingdom of God. Do not steal. Do not tell lies and commit any sin. For this is the pathway to godliness. When you love, you are free. Your problem now is that you have seen the love, but you have decided not to embrace it. Rather, you continue to wallow in evil and immorality. Whenever you, have, you leave 34 Amber Street, Calabar, you start behaving like worldly people and idolaters. You do not express the teaching of brotherhood in any way outside here. Love does not judge and has nothing to do with evil. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Everybody knows that the leader of brotherhood practices nothing but love. You have to emulate this love. Your behavior at all times must depict love of one another. You complain that your husband or parents have rejected you because brotherhood of the cross and star. Because of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. 
that you are suffering for brotherhood. You yet you have no love. How will you be rewarded if they love you? In the entire world, nobody is ready to develop and express love, yet they all want love to do wonders for them. Is this not an exhibition of the craftiness of Satan? What you want is that once your problem is solved, you will disappear into thin air. This is because you want love alone to work for you, but you would not express that same love to others. If Brotherhood of the Cross and Star was of the world, it should have been extinct by now. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so also is the wisdom of God greater than that of man. Hence, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star shall reign forever. If you want to live with the everlasting Father, you must possess love. God is nothing but love, and once you express love, you are in Him. He who has love has God and has everything. A word is sufficient unto the wise. He who has ears, let him hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father.